Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kemi and this is Sincerely KSO. If it is your first time to this channel, you are so welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back my darlings. I appreciate every single one of you. Um, we're going to dive into the proposal today. It was not, this isn't a requested um, reaction. This is a poll reaction. So I put up a poll over on the community chat room and everyone sent out so many movies there were so many and that is amazing people liked gave thumbs up a lot of people repeated what was already there but i always deleted the one with the less thumbs up like if there were two people two subscribers who voted for the same movie i chose i kept the one with the highest amount of amount of thumbs up right so um by the end of the poll i was about to take it down and i was doing my counting and i realized Crazy Rich Asians, I think, had 21 and the proposal had 21 or something like that. They both had the same exact amount of likes. So I was like, oh, goodness, the first time I'm getting a tie. So I put out another poll again. I said, between Crazy Rich Asians and the proposal, which one would you like me to watch? And the proposal came up tops. But in, of course, you can trust in the comments. We were like, if you can watch both of them, do so. If I could, I would. But you never know. So you can put it up next month and it might come up tops again. <laughs> right now. All right. So this will be my first time watching it. But I do know Sandra. Ugh, who doesn't? Who doesn't know Sandra? Like, who doesn't love her? But here in Canada, we call him Vansity Reynolds because that's what he puts on his Instagram page. I was just about to say I don't hear anything. People in this country are busy, broken, they hate to read, and they need someone they can trust to say, hey, you Captain Obvious. Oh, oh wait! Oh, Jesus! You're kidding, right? Yankees, Boston, this Tuesday, two companies here. It's here. Thirty minutes. Yes, yeah, about the marketing of the spring books. I know. Staff meeting at nine. Did you call um? Yes, Janet. I did call her, and I told her that she doesn't get her manuscript in on time. You won't give her a release date. Also, your immigration lawyer called. He said that it's imperative. Okay, cancel you... the call. Push the meeting to tomorrow, and keep the lawyer on the sheets. Oh, and get a hold of PR and have them start drafting a press release. Frank is doing Oprah. Who is uh? Who is Jillian? And why does she want me to call her? Well, that was originally my cup. And I'm drinking your coffee. Why? Because your coffee spilled. So you drink unsweetened cinnamon light soy lattes? I do. Spill, that would be uh, pathetic. Morning, the state's office. Hey, Bob. Actually, we're headed to your office right now. Yeah. Have you finished the manuscript I gave you? Uh, I read a few pages. I wasn't that impressed. The kind of novel you used to publish. Uh, wrong. And I do think you order the temper. You're just a prop in here. I won't say a word. <clears throat> Have you? Oh. Beautiful break front. Is it new? It is English Regency Egyptian Revival, built in the 1800s, but yes, it is new to my office. Bob, I'm letting you go. What? You're fired. I have told you that is impossible. Frank hasn't done an interview in 20 years. Well, that is interesting because I just got off the phone with him and he is in. Oh. Excuse me? You didn't Ooh. even call him, did you? What's his 20? He's moving? You poisonous bitch! You can't fire me! Bob, well, stop. It's just because you have no semblance of a life outside of Because you know what you're going to have on your deathbed? Nothing and no one. Listen carefully, Bob. I didn't fire you because I feel threatened. Competent, and you spend more time cheating on your wife than you do in your office. Mm -hmm. And if you say another word, Andrew here is going to have you thrown out on your ass, okay? Another word. 
and you are going out of here with an armed escort, Andrew will film it with his little camera phone and he will put it on that internet site. What was it? YouTube. Exactly. Is that <laughs> YouTube. Oh my God. And I need you around this weekend to help review his files and his manuscript. This weekend? You have a problem with that? It's, it's, you're actually saving me from a weekend of misery anyway, so it's good talk, yeah. He's pissed, but we take all of our submissions around here very seriously and we get back to... Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> it's right. a great tip. We're gonna mull I want to see you upstairs. Jack, Edwin? Margaret, congratulations on the Oprah thing. You went to Frankfurt. Yes, I did. Uh, we were gonna lose Delilo to a Viking, so... Great, so so we're all good? Everything good? Margaret, your visa application has been denied. Come on, it's it's not like I'm even an immigrant. I'm from Canada, for Christ. I can uh, I can manage everything from Toronto with no, video conferencing and internet. I can unfortunately, I can... Margaret. If you're deported, you can't work for an American company. Until this is resolved, I'm going to turn operations over to Bob Spalding. Bob. Bob Spalding, the guy I just fired. We need an editor in chief. He's the only person in the building. There is no way. I am. I am begging I, you. No, Margaret. There, excuse if, me. I we're in me... a meeting. She needs to speak right away. I know. But I told you you were otherwise engaged. She insisted. So. What? Uh that we are in and um uh mm -hmm. we're uh, we're getting married Ooh. we are getting married <laughs> who, who is getting married? you and i you and i are getting married isn't he your secretary assistant executive <laughs> uh, You know, Andrew and I were, Yo. we are uh, just two people who weren't meant to fall in love, but we did. We no. Did. Yeah, all those late nights at the office and weekend book fairs. My mom said, no. My mom said, no. Can't fight a, can't fight a love like ours. So, uh. Just make it legal. Hmm? Oh, legal. <laughs> we can work this little mess out. Uh, right? My eyes Thank are you very much, gentlemen. We will do that right now. Margaret and you are getting married. Who said that? Who said that? Who said that? Maybe they didn't know they were dating. What just happened? <laughs> 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 I don't understand what's happening. Oh, relax, this is for you two. Oh. Do explain. They were going to make Bob chief. So naturally I would have to marry. <laughs> and what's the problem? Like you were saving yourself for someone special? I like to think so. Besides, it's illegal. I'll get another job, woman. Bob is gonna fire you the second I'm gone. My Tampax runs were all for nothing and all your dreams of being an editor are gone. But don't worry, after the required allotment of time, we'll get a quickie divorce and be done with me. But until then, like it or not, your wagon is hitched to mine. Okay? I just wanted to ask him something. I need for you to file this fiance visa for me, please. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. I'm uh, Mr. Gilbertson. Ah. And you crazy did it. Oh, of course, of course, we understand. And, and I can't tell you how much we appreciate it. Are you both committing fraud to <laughs> avoid her deportation so she can keep her position as editor in chief at Colden Books? <laughs> Uh, ridiculous. Where did you Where did you hear that? We had a phone tip this afternoon from a man uh, named. Would it uh, be Bob Spalding? Bob Spalding. Mm. We know you're mm. incredibly busy with a, a room full of gardeners and delivery boys. Uh, let me explain to you the process that's about to unfold. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. And I'll ask you every little question that a real couple would know about each other occurs. If your answers don't match up at every point, you will be deported indefinitely, and you, young man, will have committed a felony, punishable by a fine of $250,000 and a stay of five years. You wanna to talk to me? <laughs> uh, the truth is, <clears throat> are just two people who weren't supposed to fall in love.
<laughs> because of my, my big promotion that I had coming up. Promotion? Uh, yes. Yeah. If I were to be promoted to editor. Yes. Editor. Yes, we boy. Were. Yes. Play that card. Yes. Oh, I, uh, uh, impossible. My parents are dead. <laughs> what, are your parents dead? Oh, no, his are, his no. are very much alive. Very, very much. much. They're, uh... And where is this surprise going to take okay. place? He's at, at uh, Andrew's parents' house. And where, where, where is that located again? Um, pff, why am I doing all the talking? It's your parents' house. Why don't you tell them where it is? Jump in. <laughs> Sitka. Sitka. Alaska. Alaska. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. I see how this is good. I have to say, I'm looking forward to this Darling. one. Darling, yes. we're looking forward to this one. Yeah. Alaska for Gammy's birthday. Uh. Boyfriend and girlfriend, tell your parents we're engaged. Uh, I use want the my promotion now. I guess I and a salary increase. Why aren't you taking notes? I'm sorry. Were you not in that room? I'm looking at a $250,000 fine and five years in jail. That changes. I'll make you editor. Fine. Mm. If you do the Alaska 10,000 copy first 20, run. 20,000 copies first run. Ask me nicely to marry you, Mark. What does that mean? You heard me. On your knee. Uh, does, does this work for you? Oh, I like good? this, yeah. Okay, good. Uh, will you marry me? No. Would you please put cherries on top, marry me? Okay, I don't appreciate the sarcasm, but I'll do it. Good. See you at the airport tomorrow. <laughs> that suit is beautiful. I love, love, love it. All this about me, so I should probably get studying. You know all the answers to these questions about me. Scary, isn't it? Mm -hmm. The full spectrum of human emotion. Oh, that's so that's funny. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that you have a tattoo. Oh, you're, uh, you're pretty sure? So what is it? Tribal ink? Japanese calligraphy? Barbed wire. Whose place do we stay at? Yours or mine? That's easy. Mine. And why wouldn't we stay at mine? And you probably live at some squalid little studio apartment with stacks of yellow penguin classics. Really? Who's jumping? Is that his mom? It's probably... Oh! Come here. Hey, Gabby. Oh, my wow, Gabby. <laughs> Where's Dad? Oh, you know your father. He's always working. It, never know. mind about him. Where's your girl? Uh, I guess the word girl is inappropriate. Oh. Margaret is my mom. Oh, hello. Uh, yeah, right. So, uh, this is my Gabby. I hug her. Actually, we've heard it lots of ways. She's kidding. <laughs> we're, we're thrilled to have you. Come on, let's get you two back to the fort. Okay. The Paxton Collection. Paxton. 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 Everything is Paxton. Is he rich? Oh, that's why he was like, why you live live in in a shackled something something. The assumption. You didn't tell me about all the family businesses, honey. He was probably being modest, right? Oh, Right? Because like, I live in upscale New York. We canceled your reservation. Family doesn't stay at a hotel. You're going to stay in our home. She insists on doing it all herself. She's one of those, uh, she's a feminist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, sweetie? Grandma. Grandma's not impressed. <laughs> oh. oh, five second rule. Got it. Got yes. No, I can't swim. Yeah. Girl, take off the shoe. Looking good, boss. Hand <laughs> off ass. Off ass. Congratulations. I'm 100 years old. <laughs> I'm not rich. My parents are rich. OK, you know what? That's something only rich people say. A party? Yeah, I guess so. Come on, let's go. Ooh. So nice to meet you, Margaret. Welcome to Sitka. Jill, hi. Nice to meet you.
You know what? Time out, okay? This bickering bickerson thing has got to stop. People need to think that we are in love. So let's just... It's gonna require that you stop snacking on children while they dream. Very funny. <laughs> This is McKittrick. How are you? Nice to see you. Nice to see you, Mr. McKittrick. This is uh, Margaret. Hi, pleasure. pleasure. Margaret. Hi, how are you? Pleasure. So I always wanted to know, what does a book editor do? Well, that's a great question, Louise. I'm curious. This must be Meg. Uh, Margaret. Uh, why don't you tell us exactly what a book editor yeah, does? I mean, besides so taking writers out to lunch. And... So you're Margaret. actually Andrew's boss, yeah. Mm. Charming. You show up here after all this time with this woman you hated, and now she's your girlfriend? We just got here. Can we wait two seconds before we throw the kitchen sink at each other? What'd you say? Hmm? You heard me. Getting married. Oh, oh, no, I'm fine. Thank you very much. It's a tradition? Oh, but see, it's the, the texture. I'm not a I'm fish person. I like it. Uh, <laughs> You're very, very sweet. I, I think if you want. just want. taste it. Margaret and I yes. are getting married. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That's okay. Honey? Hey, where are you at? Uh, uh, there it is. <laughs> Come on down here, pumpkin. All right. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Andrew, hi. Gert? Oh my god. Hey, hi. Wow. For being completely rude. Hi. Oh, yeah, yeah this hi. is my. So, did I miss the story? What's What's your engagement? About how you proposed. Oh, yeah. I actually would love to hear this story, Andrew. Would you tell us? Oh. She proposed to me. <laughs> Loves telling the story, so I'm just going to let her go ahead and do that. Huh. Wow, okay. Mm. Wow, where, where to begin? Okay, well, um... Andrew and I marry him, and he was scared like a little tiny bird. So I got in there because I knew he wouldn't have the guts to ask. But yeah, that's not exactly. Oh, the decoupage box that he made, where he he'd taken the time to cut out decoupage and out fluttered these tiny little hand cut heart confettis and. No ring. Huh? No ring. What? No. But inside that box, underneath all that crap. There was a little handwritten note mm. with the address to a hotel, date, and time. Real Humphrey Bogart type stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Masculine. <laughs> and he was choking back soft, soft sobs. And when he held back the tears and finally caught his breath, he said to me, Margaret, will you marry me? And she said, yep, in the end. I was hungry. <laughs> Hey, let's see a kiss oh, yeah. from you two yeah, cuties. Yeah. Give her a kiss. Okay, here we go. Ready? Mwah. What is this? Kiss her on the mouth. Who is that person that said kiss her on the mouth? That must be his cousin. Cousins are terrible. Okay. Okay, okay. all right. Here we go. Grab my love alone, please. your bedroom and here's the bed wow exquisite the bed, bed. solutions <laughs> 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 that you two don't sleep in the same bed so <laughs> you'll sleep in here with you <laughs> oh my god what is, what is it oh whoa, whoa. Is it? Oh, who is this that's kevin i'm sorry so margaret cute. be sure you don't let him outside or the eagles will snatch him by the way, there are extra towels and linens and things in here. Use this. It has special powers. Oh, what kind sure. of what kind of special powers? I call it the baby maker. Okay, well, then I guess we need to be super careful with that <laughs> yeah, one, huh? Just, just don't throw it on the bed. Well, we better turn in it. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Come on, go away. <laughs> I haven't had a lot of vacation time the last three years. Stop complaining. Mm. Are your eyes closed? Completely. Are you sure? Yes. Those are the pajamas you decided to bring to Alaska. Uh, yes, because I was supposed to be in a hotel alone. What is 
reflection. Won't be getting much sleep with the sun streaming in. <clears throat> Andrew, come on. Andrew. Andrew, where is it? Purse, side pocket. Frank, Frank, darling. Darling, Frank, are you there? Hello, hello? Frank, hold on just a second. Frank, hold on. No, 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 no. Yes. Frank, 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 darling, Frank. It's going to be fine. I can just call them and I can cancel. Oh no, the dog. Oh no. You better Frank, take him I inside. It, okay? Oh, I think Eagle. it would be a mistake oh. to back out. And, and I feel that. Shh, dog, I'm on the phone. I think it's time that the world gets. Just, uh, I, I just want you to be happy, Frank. Give me that dog. Uh, and I need. Frank. <laughs> come on, come on. Okay, okay gotcha. Frank, Frank, Frank. Frank. It's coming back. Run. Run. Okay, bye bye. No, wait. No, no. No, no, no. No. Take it. Take it. Will you go get her, Andy? We have a whole day planned for her. And she needs to get ready. Grandmother was completely right. Eagle okay. came and tried to take the dog, and then I saved him, and then. Relax, all right? We'll, we'll order another phone, same number. We'll go into town tomorrow and we'll get it. You have to get ready. What? Oh, you're going out with mom and the girls. I'm not going. Yes, you are. I'm not going. Now, give me a nice big hug. We don't no, think don't we're fighting. Touch you. There we go. Isn't that nice? Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Boop, boop, yeah. boop. If you touch my ass one more time, I will cut your balls off in your sleep. Okay? Yeah. There you go. Such a good fiance. Mm. Yeah. Your mom found these eco balls. They dissolve in water. It was a little bit of a shock to find out that you're getting married. Especially when none of us even knew you were dating. I've been going over my retirement plans recently. I've done a lot of things in my life. Practically built an empire with your mother from the ground up. It doesn't mean anything. Unless Does you have someone to leave it to. Yeah, we already discussed this. Yeah, dad. I'd like to discuss it again. I think I've been more than understanding about your goofing off in New York. I need you to... Goofing off? He wants to do... I wish you had another son. I really do. One who wanted to stay here, one who wanted to take over the family business, one who wanted to marry someone that you approve of, but it's not me. Now, it must seem strange to you, my life in New York, sitting in an office, reading books. But it makes me happy, understand? That's a first. You know what? Apology not accepted. Have fun out here. It's a difficult thing. It's a difficult pause. Let me tell you something. Um... I'm grateful that my younger sister is an engineer because my father did have his own engineering company and she's following in his footsteps. So it didn't put that much pressure on me. My mom was into business and, you know, business when she was the sole proprietor. So, you know, whenever she decided to close shop, it was done. She didn't do it in a way where she had to pass something on. But I understand the pressure of leaving a legacy, building an empire, and wanting to leave it to at least one of your children. And none of them are interested. It can be very painful because you're seeing your hard work go to strangers. It's one, it's one of the things that I hope that children and parents, you know, have a meeting of minds. Like saying he wanted to, if he wanted to be a publisher, he could do his writing and also like take care of the company as a side thing. But it's, it's when you now build like a medical practice and your son is into music and not medicine. And you're hoping like the, it's named after you. You're hoping that someone else will be on the board. I, I think that he can be a silent partner as a son, like, I'm trying to figure out how we can merge the two so that he's not losing the relationship with his son and the son is also pursuing his dream. You don't have children with the mindset that you're going to control their lives. You have children that you're going to love them. They're going to love you and they're going to pursue their own dreams and their own adventures, hoping that you would be brought along in those new and future plans. But sometimes it doesn't happen like that. And that I think is painful, especially when you love your children so much and you're doing 
everything you've built to give them that advantage in life. Um, I don't know. You know, sometimes I think about this and I think of even our kids who were born here in Canada and how they've grown here. The, the likelihood of them wanting, they, this is home for them. This is home. And it's beautiful. It's a beautiful place. It's home for me too. But I would hope that as they go, grow older, they want to see, you know, Nigeria and Africa and that side of town. But what if one of them says, no, I don't want to go back. I don't, I don't, that's not my home. This is my home. Canada is my home. I can't hate them for those choices, you know. So I, I sort of have a dilemma myself thinking, I, I understand the dad, although he's not going around about it the right way, like he's very aggressive and he's very arrogant and, you know, so domineering. But what if he was a compassionate dad? What if he was the kind of dad that was like, you know, I that spoke very kindly and softly and is expressing his heartbreak that, you know, it's it's like <laughs> one thing my father-in-law said. He was like, "That's why you have many children, <laughs> so that if two disappoint you, you have six left." Like it was, it's 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 and it's true. Like you see, a lot of billionaires they always keep having kids. They're like, mm -hmm. they want to have as multiple children as possible. Wait, oh, no, uh, of course not. Absolutely. <laughs> oh. Okay, this is the big surprise I was. Stop it right now. Stop it right now. Stop it. Stop it right now. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it right now. Stop it right now. Stop it. <laughs> the song. Oh my God! Look at him. <laughs> oh my God! Oh my goodness me! Hey, uh -huh. there you are. How are you holding up? Yeah, the Paxtons can be a <sighs> bit overwhelming at times. Yes, yes. <laughs> it's a little different than New York, huh? A little bit, a little bit. You ever been? And you, okay. you guys called it off because of? He proposed and said he wanted to elope and run away to New York with me. You said no. And I said no, yeah. I've never been anywhere but here. This is home, which you obviously already know. <laughs> oh, yep. Yep. Cheers to you guys. Oh. Thank you. Like oh, grandma's on. <laughs> grandma's on stage. Oh, oh my god. It's <laughs> wonderful. Oh no. Andrew. Andrew, honey, is everything okay? What's he what's he doing? Uh, something's up. It, it's best to leave him alone. Come on, honey. Why is Andrew out there hollowing out that old stupid canoe again? Uh, Ramon's coconut body oil. <laughs> sure. I had a great day today. Thank you. What did you do? I didn't do anything. I mean, I just had a, a Frank. He is my son. I only get to see him every three years because of you. Just you and me alone. You and me and everything that we're angry about. And God forbid, you are going to fix this, Joe. I mean it. Fix it now. No, 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 just, 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 I'm sorry, but let, let me just, uh, just, look, you need to just, I'm sorry. Go away, go away. Come here, come to mama. Don't look at 
me. <laughs> Another baby maker. <laughs> Explain your. I didn't mean to jump you. Your dog was attacking me, and I had to run. And I just, you know, just go, go. Fine. Go take a shower. Fine. You stink. Oh. You see that? Barely made it out with my life there. See the size <laughs> of the teeth on that thing? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <clears throat> Can we uh not talk about that please? Yeah. What's the deal with you and your father? Oh, I'm sorry that question. But if the guy asks Not about that, Margaret. Good night. <clears throat> I like the psychic network. My first concert was Rob Bass and DJ Easy Rock. I read Wuthering Heights every Christmas. It's my favorite book. I went to the bathroom and cried after Bob called me a poisonous bitch. Oh, really? I'm sure there's many, many other things, but that's all I can come up with right now. You are there? <laughs> you really haven't slept with anyone in 18 months? Oh my God, uh, well, out of all that, that's all you got. I was gonna say, what about her parents? It takes two to make a thing go right. It takes oh, two to make it out of sight. Out of sight. Uh, 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 uh. Are you serious? I know them. I know who they are. I just wanted to hear you sing it. <laughs> Don't take this the wrong way. Yeah. I'm not internationally known, but, but I'm, I'm known, known to rock the microphone. microphone. It takes two to make a thing go right. Feel it deep. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, <laughs> oh, we all here. Okay, just... <sighs> oh, wow. Oh, smells good. Oh. Cinnamon rolls. Oh, you should. Hey, you have room for one more? Wow. Oh. Can we not do the, the, the Brady family? Horrific idea. We want you to get married that, here tomorrow. What? What? Mm -hmm. What? Well, you're going to get married anyway, so we can be all together, and that way Grandma Annie can be a part of it child's wedding. A dream come true. Mm. So you'll do it before I'm dead? Okay. okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we will do everything. And you, and you can get oh, married wow. like we did in the barn. It's a Paxson family tradition. Oh, oh wow. Yep. <laughs> wow. Oh. Oh. oh, we must give thanks, I tell you. Come. Come, we must give. So we're just so excited. Go. <laughs> Go. 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 When my mom finds out that this whole thing is a sham, she's gonna she's gonna be crushed, oh, and my grandmother's gonna die. She's I, gonna my, find my out. My father, what the hell's with that? With the whole wedding thing, where did that come from? She, she probably she probably got him worked up into it. It's fine. She's not gonna find oh, out. Oh God, Margaret. It's not like we're we're gonna be married forever. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. You're right, you know, get a quickie divorce will be fine. Absolutely. It's gonna be fine. Leaving me for another woman. <laughs> Come on. I haven't left you yet, Margaret. You know what? I'm gonna go. Where? I just kind of feel like going outside. All right. Whew. She's All gonna right. take care of my man. I don't want you leaving me. She's changing already. Take care of my man. I don't want you leaving me for another woman. Something like that. Oh. Oh my god. God, I hate nature. I hate it. Stop, 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 stop. I just wanted some air. What is that? What is that? Cage is on top. It is I, Grandma Annie. Oh, I see. 
Come, see how I give thanks to Mother Earth. Earth has provided all this, just as she brought you and Andrew. You know, can I can I just uh, thank her from here? I'll just. I insist. Follow, and learn. E e e a. Me what? Chat. Chat what? Chat, whatever comes to you. Use your vowels. E o o. To the crazy. Yes. To the window. Yes. The window. Yeah. Wow. To the window, to the walls, to the walls, to the sweat drips down my balls. To all you bitches. <laughs> all you bitches crawl. All ski for the all ski ski dog dad. Jimmy, let's take it to the bridge. Woo! Let me see you get low. Yeah. 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 What you doing? Yeah. You know, chant, chant from the heart. Balls. <laughs> That's what came to your heart. You know, it uh, went, went with the beat. <laughs> Hold on, is it, uh, is it okay if I, I go with him? But you're okay if I go? I know. Bye, Kenny. I said, is it okay if I go? You know, she didn't want to leave her alone. She wanted to make sure she was comfortable that she was leaving. So she asked. Hey, hi. Remember this? <laughs> think you made so quite sweet. an impression on her mom. Mm hmm, mm hmm. I think 13. Mm. Here we go. It's all charged up, Andrew. Thanks, buddy. Shit, I need a computer. Is there, is there a computer in this godforsaken town? There you go. What? You're kidding. Dimes? You're not kidding? I'll be outside. But what you am I supposed you need to me. do? You're, you'll I mean, be fine. no, I. So it was nice to see Gertrude, huh? Yeah. Just catch up? It's definitely good to see her. It's definitely, yeah, it's yeah. been a long time. We need Margaret. Fred, we're going to have to steal you away, young lady. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm, uh, I'm just. But not you. It's girl mm -hmm. Stephanie Hayden. What? Come on. What is My this? My mother dress? made this dress by hand oh in this God. very shop. Yeah, and don't worry about the fit because Annie is the best tailor in Southeast Alaska. Oh. Maybe oh. a tad uh, loose in certain areas, but otherwise. Oh, sorry. Loose in certain areas. You have no boobs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's see if we can find your boobs. <laughs> they are. <laughs> this is like an Easter egg, huh? <laughs> oh, that that would uh that would be nice. That'd be nice. Or maybe we could we could. Grace, for God's sake, we've got work to do. I know. <laughs> Sorry. Go make yourself a cup of tea. Now, just one special touch and you're ready. Been in the family for more than 150 years. <laughs> he was Russian and she was clinking. And I, I can't. I, can't, I, can't, I don't want to hear no. it. I, I, it's I, I, you. I, Grandmothers love to give their stuff to their grandchildren. It makes us feel like we'll still be part of your lives even after we're gone. Uh. Are, are you are you all right, dear? Make sure there was enough time to get all the sewing done. <laughs> now let's get you out of those pins. Okay. You can't take that, girl. If you're not going to, if you're not going to be permanent fixture in their lives, it's not so personal. That's such a personal gift. Like it's a heirloom.
want to talk to both of you? Your mother is never to hear about any of this. Told you I'd check up on you. Oh, my God. Luckily for you, your father negotiated a deal on your behalf. You tell the truth, you're off the hook. And she is going to go back to Canada. Take the deal. I don't think so. Don't be stupid, Andrew. We fell in love. I asked her to marry me. She said yes. I'll see you at the wedding. You sure about this? Not really. Now, tomorrow's your wedding day. You have to give the baby maker a rest tonight. It's tradition. You know, if I don't go with her, she's just gonna come right back. Yeah. See you in the morning. Is she still around? Oh, she is. Uh huh? Oh, Gavin's the one walking her down the aisle. Oh, and the feeting is really nice. Look at, they stitched it up, made it pleated, and tucked it in. Oh, the hair isn't the best, but oh well. We are gathered here today <laughs> to give recognition to the beauty. <laughs> so it is only right that family and friends are up. Oh, uh, no. Your hand is up. <clears throat> Hi there. Thank you all so much for coming out. I, uh, I have a bit of an uh, announcement to make about the, the wedding. And because I didn't want to leave this wonderful country of yours, and I knew that if I threatened to destroy his career, he would, he would do just about anything. So I blackmailed him to come up here and to lie to you. Turns out it's not easy to ruin someone's life once you find out how wonderful they are. Andrew, this was a business deal, and you held up your end, but now the deal is off. Okay, they did it before me, so it's not really fraud, it's attempted fraud. Like, no, I just get, let me get my head on straight, okay? I'll, I'll explain everything later. You were right. You have an extraordinary eye, and I'll make sure we buy this before I leave. Have an amazing life. You deserve it, Margaret. People are going to be talking about this forever. Yeah. No. Uh, because she doesn't have the decency, the humanity to do it to my face. Never once has she had a nice thing to say. And then she goes ahead and she writes Andrew. this crap. Andrew. But none of that matters because we had a deal. Andrew. Sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I just, uh, she just makes me look crazy. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. So, what now? Well, you have 24 hours to head back to Canada. Why would you Boy. do that? This has nothing to do with Boy, you. So wait it. a minute. Oh, Mom? Oh, you two need to stop fighting. Even if you don't agree with it, you'll work harder to be a part of this family. Gammy? I guess they're not ready for me. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling much better, Sonny. To the airport. Larry Ferris, don't make me call your mother. You got it. Giving up, back in New York. See, I'm like Elliot Ness. Tower, talk to me. Chuck, it's Drew Paxton. Hey, dude. Okay, uh, Dragola. <laughs> Chuck, I need you to stop the plane, please. What's wrong? Margaret's on that plane. And he didn't get to tell her. Tell her what? That he loves her. Like, oh, there you are. Sorry, man, there was nothing I could do. Who would this help her? Please, this one right here. This address right here. Okay. Can you do that? Uh, yes, Good. sure. Okay. All right, thank you. Just take. Yes. What? What? Because I've been running. Really, from Alaska? I need to talk to you, Margaret. I need the boxes to go out today. I want to make sure everything is... Margaret, to stop talking! Poisoned. Oh, that's, that's nice. Yeah, I told you to stop talking. Even when you checked me out when we were naked. Naked? Uh, <laughs> and it suddenly dawned on me that 
the woman I love is about to be kicked out of the country. Love the woman I love? I have to write that down. Marry me. Ooh. Because I'd like to date you. <laughs> that over there. It would just be a lot easier if we forgot everything that happened. That would be easier. I'm scared. <laughs> Me too. There's something. <laughs> I'm gonna take that as a yes. Oh, okay. Oh my goodness. Voice always screaming from. You're sure you want to go through with this? Style. Because one wrong answer, I'm gonna take you down. <laughs> Let's do it. What side of the bed do you sleep on? <laughs> what? The hell In my mind, I see her with someone perhaps uh, like you. More sweet. How do you spell Ramon? R, R A M O N A. <laughs> You took an oath when you walked in this office. I did not take an oath. Which of the following numbers is not a prime? 17. I'm sorry, let me say the list, please. I'm sorry? You knew your favorite color. <laughs> oh my God, I can't stop laughing. It's over, it's finished. Now we've seen the credits. Um, this was so funny. It was so good. Everything was, it was well done. Good way acting love love the <laughs> the banter between ryan and sandra it was just oh you had everything you have everything and i um, love the family dynamic i love that she didn't follow through with it true to be honest i'm happy she didn't follow through with it and she was the one to call it off and I, there were so many laughable moments there were so many um but <laughs> but the way ramon shouted 17 before hearing the number the list that was that is so funny um, I like I like Sandra. I like to see her in more comedies. Obviously, I can't say anything about Ryan because he is an amazing. His face, the way he moves his eyes, the way he cocks his head, like all that mannerism is just fantastic to me. I enjoyed this movie so much. All right, great job, guys. Great job. Don't forget to subscribe. On to the next. <laughs>